Right, ladies and gentlemen, I hazard a guess that this book is pretty unique. It's, it's, it's a, a volume of around 10 or a dozen Georgian um, pamphlets on geology, mineralogy, science, all by somebody called J. McCulloch, uh, MD, a Scottish um, scientist. Uh, and uh, it, they're all bound together in a contemporary sort of late Georgian, early Victorian sort of binding. The, the label's gone there. The, the spine is missing its top and bottom, but it's still basically sad. And there, uh, it's ex-library. At some stage, a book in a second-hand bookshop or antiquarian bookshop has been £45. Um, and it's Dr. McCulloch writing on peat. There's a whole essay on peat, on the actions of volcanoes, on um, uh, pitch stone, on... Um, uh, the disquamation of certain rocks. There's a section on the granite of Aberdeenshire. There's a section on a map of Scotland, of Shetland, that was published at the time, Dr. McCulloch on the chart of Shetland, crystalline structure of rocks. There's a fascinating one on the, the optimum sizes of mineralogical hammerheads, okay? Fossil hammers there, uh, different types which are best for use. Black lead from cast iron, different sizes of print because they're different pamphlets, numerated uh, in, in individually. Um, there's a wonderful one on, on um, um, St. Kilda, Highland Music on the Isle of St. Kilda. There's one on communications in... Um, um, oh, sorry, there's one on, on um, uh, a communication to the Caledonian Horticultural Society on the cultivation of the parsnip. So parsnip growing in Guernsey, very obscure. And this pamphlet is dated 1814. Uh, and about nine or ten other ones on Scottish music, mineralogical hammers, etc., etc., etc. I can find no reference to these pamphlets on the internet at all. It's a scarce little collection of Georgian, late Georgian pamphlets. Sorry about the noise outside. Thanks very much indeed. Bye.